Hey there, are you here today for some more CLI goodness, like a new command line application? I have discovered one that you might just like. Let me show it to you. Okay, it's called Toot. It's basically a Mastodon client for the CLI. So from the command line, you are going to, it looks like this, right? We are going to get to that. You're going to post, uh, Tweets uh, or posts on Mastodon. You're going to read your replies, uh, reply, make favorites, etc. Let's get into it, right? So the easiest way might just be to install as a snap. There we go. Packages by Alan Pope. So let's see what happens. Okay. So I have already read some documentation and I already know what to do. So the first thing you want to do is login. Uh, type the name of your instance. Oops. Needs a... Uh, There we go. Yes. It will ask you to log in, authorize it, copy, paste. And we're logged in. Okay. So in order to display uh, the user interface, just type to TUI. And here we are. This is what it looks like. This is my timeline. And as you can see on the left side, it's the uh, latest post uh, from the people that I have subscribed to. On the right side, you have uh, uh, dis displayed the contents of the post, right? If you go here, you can see that this post has some replies as marked with a tiny little um, icon you can press T or thread and you can read it okay press escape to go back uh, this one is not fully public but just for uh, subscribers what else can we find here loading more okay loading more Nice. It's quite fast, actually. I mean, it's um, it's command line interface, but it's also written in Python, which you might think that it would slow it down a bit, but it's actually quite fast. You can see some shortcuts here. Uh, for example, type uh, B to boost this, um, like PlayStation Plus free games for June. Okay, let's boost that. Press B and it's boosted. If you press letter, the letter V, you will open it in your default web browser. And it shows up here, right? If you want to see the links, you can press letter I. And just choose the one that you want to open up. Okay, if you want to switch timelines, you need to press letter G. Like this. And you can go to your local timeline. For example, this one, my pen exploded, my hands are now bloodied in teal. Is it Saturday yet? Do we want to boost this? Yes. Okay, press letter G again for another timeline. General public timeline. Okay. This is where you can get to your notifications, which uh, I am not going to open this time uh, in case there is something private in there. Uh, we will quit this for a moment. Type Q and let's try this.
dude post testing dude CLI and send dude posted it says okay let's check it out here and it's already here see that that's quite amazing so what you can do with this application is quite diverse you should definitely read the documentation on the author's website um, there is quite a lot of use cases for this you can uh, basically use it as a GUI in the command line if you wish so you can automate a lot of stuff uh, from the command line uh, by just passing it as a parameter to whatever the script you have there going on and a lot of other use cases are quite possible but in order to get ideas i really recommend going through the whole documentation uh, because i have already uh, popped some uh, light bulbs uh, in my head how i could use this in the future so um, i hope you like this little, little video and uh, i'll see you in the next one